In today's story, we will see how easy it is to please God through devotion and love, but it should be true love. So let's listen to the story now. Jeevanji Dudi was a devout Krishna devotee living in the village of Kalwa in Nagaur, Rajasthan. On 20th January 1615, he was blessed with a daughter whom he called Karma Bai. Once Jeevanji had to go out of town, so he instructed Karma Bai to prepare the bhog for Lord Krishna every morning and offer it to him. He warned her that he should eat only after Krishna had accepted the offering. The next morning, Karma Bai woke up early. With the intention of following her father's instructions, she promptly prepared the khichdi and offered it to Krishna. However, the offering remained untouched. Distressed by this, Karma Bai also stayed hungry. How could she eat if the Lord had not eaten? After some time, pleased with her devotion, Krishna appeared before Karma Bai and accepted the offering. Now this became a daily routine. Every morning, Karma Bai would wake up and quickly prepare khichdi, which Krishna loved. When Jeevanji returned, Karma Bai told him everything. He was astonished and refused to believe her. Upon Karma Bai's insistence, Krishna appeared before both of them and ate the khichdi. A few years later, Karma Bai moved to Puri in Odisha. Even there, Lord Jagannath would come to her door every morning to eat his favorite khichdi. Once, a saint visited Karma Bai's house and stayed for the night. The next morning, he noticed Karma Bai's routine and was alarmed. He questioned how she could prepare and offer the bhog without bathing, performing rituals, cleaning utensils or the kitchen. He instructed her on the proper rituals to be followed before preparing and offering the bhog. The next morning, when Krishna called out, Mother, I am here. Please bring my khichdi. Please wait. I am bathing, came the reply. A little later, he called again. Mother, where is my khichdi? Karma Bhai responded, I am cleaning the kitchen and the utensils. Please give me some more time. They are calling me at the temple, mother. I have to go quickly. Please give me the khichdi. Jagannath pleaded. The Lord of the universe, who had 56 types of dishes waiting for him at the temple, was longing for the khichdi made with a mother's loving devotion. Karma Bhai came out of the kitchen with the bhog. Krishna quickly ate it and returned to the temple. When the priest opened the temple, he saw some khichdi stuck to Krishna's mouth and asked, How did this happen, Lord? Krishna narrated the entire story of how there was always khichdi at Karma Bhai's house and how he was delayed that day because Karma Bhai was following the saint's instructions. Following Lord Jagannath's directions, the temple priests went to the saint and conveyed Lord's wishes to him. The saint was deeply shocked to learn that due to his instructions, the Lord's work had been hindered and the Lord had to go hungry. He asked Karma Bai to prepare the bhog as per her usual routine. The Lord wanted the bhog prepared with a devotee's love, free from the strict regulations of ritual purity. A few years later, one day, the priest saw tears flowing from the eyes of Lord Jagannath. When asked why Lord was crying, the Lord replied, My mother Karma Bai passed away today. Though she has come to me, I miss her khichdi. Who will give me khichdi now? Saying this, Lord Jagannath began to weep even more. Hence, it was decided from that day onwards, Karma Bai's khichdi would be the first offering to Lord Jagannath before the 56 different dishes. So, we must remember, God truly sees love and devotion of His devotees.